Oh, hey, Labid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button and come back to rock with your boy. Listen, if you are new to the world of fragrance, or even if you are a seasoned vet, you may have heard this fragrance discussion and the topic is this are fragrance unisex okay should they be used all the time by everyone maybe but then again maybe not if you visit any big box department store you're going to find a men's fragrance section and a women's fragrance section you're also going to find by manufacturers fragrances that are geared towards women and fragrances that are geared toward men. But today's video is a little bit different because I know some guys are daring, some guys are bold, and they choose to rock women's perfumes. So today we're gonna talk about fragrances that may be found in a women's perfume collection that men can wear and receive compliments. Again, the purpose of this channel is to help you find confidence by way of compliments, and these fragrances will definitely help you with that journey. So now that you know what we're doing, let's go ahead and get down to big beard business. First up, we have a fragrance that hails from a women's cosmetic line, which happens to be extremely popular, and that is the house, I guess if we'll call it, the house of MAC Cosmetics. And the fragrance that we're talking about is Velvet Teddy. Now, if you know anything about Velvet Teddy or any of the fragrances within this MAC Cosmetic line, they're actually called Shade Scents. And these are fragrances that match their most uh, popular, most famous, and most used um, makeup products, okay? And in this case, Velvet Teddy, I believe, is based upon a lipstick, and I think most of them are as well. Um, the fragrance bottle kind of matches the color of the MAC Velvet Teddy makeup, but what we're talking about is more so the specific scent of this one. And what I'll tell you is this one is this oriental fragrance that gets the job done. If you know anything about this fragrance, then you know this one is often likened to a fragrance from the house of Tom Ford, which is Tobacco Venice. So this does have this tobacco-esque feel to it. Again, it has that oriental vibe as well. I think this official classification is oriental. It doesn't have the best distribution, but what we're talking about is the smell. Simply put, this one is honey, wild honey to be specific. There's amber, there's musk, and some sensual tobacco within this fragrance that I think a lot of people out there will enjoy, men and women alike. This one falls in the unisex category for me. It's one that I've talked about over the years, but not much. But if you have a woman in your life who has this within her collection, or if you can still find this thing, go ahead, pick it up, man. You will not be disappointed. Uh, Mac Shade Scents Velvet Teddy. Next up on our list today, we have a fragrance that I was debating if I was going to put on this list here. I was trying to be a little bit selfish with this scent because since I've had it in my collection, um, this thing has been on me for just like non-stop. It's a fragrance that I really do enjoy and I think a lot of you out there will, so I'm going to share it. Now, I actually got this fragrance from Crystal Fragrance and she put me on to it. She was like, yo, B! And that's not how she wrote me, because we, we talk a little different. She was like, hey, I got something that you're going to really, 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 really like. I'm like, hmm. And she was like, yup. And I'm like, all right, cool. Send it over. And man, I have just been blown away by this fragrance. And I think a lot of you will as well. If you are into gourmand scents, you're going to enjoy this one. This was technically classified as a woman's fragrance, which is why it's on this list. But man. This one is called Vanille Banan from the house of Comptour Sud Pacifique, okay? I know not a lot of people have this one specifically in their fragrance collection, but man, if you enjoy um, a true-to-life, fruity, fresh scent, um, almost Laffy Taffy-like, this is one that you are going to enjoy. I sprayed this thing on the missus, was like, what are you wearing? I immediately sprayed this thing on the next day and the next day and the next day as wearing this one out and about into the office. Well, it's not really much of an office these days, but wearing this one out and coming across people, man, they, they've all seemed to enjoy the scent. Now, what I'll tell you about this one, this one opens up fresh, fruity. Uh, this one has this sweet component to it as well um vanilla is obviously in this fragrance uh bananas obviously in this sense as well as you can tell by the name and man 
I am super impressed. This fragrance also has jackfruit, it has apricot, it has sugar cane, again, it has that vanilla pod. Woo! Top tier scent, man. Like, I am super, super impressed with this fragrance. I'll, I'll, you'll be hearing a lot more about this fragrance from me, man. Um, if, if you want to get on the train now, do so. It's not an expensive fragrance. Again, you can visit crystalfragrance.com to check this fragrance out. If I can get a code, I'll leave it listed down below for you. But this is a phenomenal scent. Compliment factor is there for sure. As I mentioned, this one is a woman's fragrance. But to me, uh, when I smell it, I was like, yeah, <laughs> for me for sure all right and all of these fragrances on this list today you you will feel the same way about compliment factor is there for sure um smell is there a uh, gourmand scent through and through i am digging it and speaking of digging it this next fragrance is one that i'm like yeah 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 all right so listen i got this fragrance in the collection and i recently handed this one over to the missus with the understanding that if I ever wanted to grab it, I could reach in there and grab it. This fragrance is a, a woman's scent, but compliment factor is their top tier. This one smells amazing. I've talked about it in a video before, um, but I didn't talk about it much. This is one of the hidden gems for me. This one is uh, Fleur Nicotique from the House of X Neo. All right, um, I haven't heard the House of X Neo talked about a ton in videos. Although again, uh, I haven't watched a ton since doing fragrance reviews myself. But um, what I'll tell you is that this fragrance is phenomenal. Now, don't be confused by the name. Uh, with the name like Fleur Nicotique, you would think that this fragrance is just floral, floral, floral. And floral is there, but it's done in such a way where um, as a man, I consider myself a more manly man. I feel extremely comfortable wearing this fragrance. It's sweet um, for sure. It does have that sweet component to it. This one also is eerie. So it, it jumps off, it wafts off the skin and it draws people in, which is one of the things that I really do enjoy about it. It has almost this hypnotic inviting feel to it. It's almost like a narcotic. Okay, <laughs> that's what it is. Now, if you were to visit the note breakdown on this fragrance, you're gonna get florals in the top, you're gonna get florals in the mid, but I think in the base of this fragrance is where it kind of levels out, where I feel that this could be worn as a man, and I have worn it myself. I'll continue to wear it um, because it's just me, but there's some, some wood components here, and then there's also some musk, and there is some green aspect to it as well down there in the base, which to me, Solid scent. I don't think many of you will uh, really be disappointed by this fragrance. Fleur Nicotique from um, X Neo. All right. One of the few fragrances I have from them, but it's top tier for me, for sure. For sure. We're down to our final two fragrances on the list. And this next fragrance is like the secret deodorant of fragrances to me. This one is strong enough for a man, but surely made for a woman. And this one comes from the house of Montal. And this one is Montal's Starry Nights. And I actually stole this one from the Mrs. Collection because this one actually belongs to her as Ex Neo does now as well. Um, but this scent to me is a phenomenal fragrance that I enjoy in her and I would personally wear. This fragrance is this um, amber, oriental scent that provides you a nice strong feel within this fragrance you're gonna get some rose you're gonna get some patchouli but there's also this a uh, jasmine in this fragrance and then there's a sensual musk that you get here so that's why i said this one is strong enough for a man but made for a woman the musk within this fragrance within that uh, backbone provides just a really nice sensual feel also, despite those floral notes within this scent, there's also this uh, fruity freshness that you can find within the scent at the top. There's gonna be hints of lemon, there's bergamot, there's apple within this fragrance. And to me, it's one that I enjoy smelling on the misses and it's no problem for me to rock this scent. And I think that men will get compliments with this one. A lot of ladies do enjoy this scent as well. It's different. It's not your average woman's scent, which is why it's on today's list as a fragrance for women that men could wear and get compliments. So there you have it, Starry Nights from the House of Montal. And that brings us into our final fragrance today. And this one is from the sister company of um, Montal. And this one is from Mancera. And this one is Jardin Exclusive. As you can tell by the name of this fragrance, Jardin Exclusive, there, there is some floral components to this scent. But for me, this one is a sweet fragrance for 
adults okay so if you're looking at fragrances you're like hey b i'm not a huge fan of sweet fragrances then you may want to give this one a try this is still a sweet fragrance through and through there's no doubt about it but this fragrance does have a more mature upscale vibe to it than just your average old run-of-the-mill sweet fragrance the bulk of your floral notes for this fragrance are really in the mid of this fragrance and then in the base you're going to get some of those notes that we talked about like in starry nights you're going to get that white musk there's also vanilla and sandalwood that add into that uh the seductiveness of this scent the compliment factors are there for this fragrance and it's one that i stand by for sure jardin exclusive and those are five fragrances that you can find in a women's fragrance collection or my fragrance collection okay these are fragrances that you can rock as a man feel confident about compliment factors is there for these fragrances and my personal opinion i think these are all great fragrances some better than others within this list and you have to find the one that works best for you but if you're looking for a fragrance that would be within the woman's fragrance collection and you can wear these fragrances are here other fragrances that kind of fit that profile are going to be uh tom ford's black orchid right that's another fragrance that really fits that profile it's made for a woman um or man depending on what store you go into it's going to be on either side and sometimes it's on both but uh, men can rock that fragrance that's all i have for you today let me know your thoughts and opinions what fragrances are you rocking that kind of fit this category as always i'm your boy big b beat him get the like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the goddamn bell